Hey guys, my name is Emilio Spinoza, and welcome to this month's Market Sense, highlighting the insights for the month of July 2022. So for the GTA for the month of July, we saw 4,912 sales. On a month-to-month change, that's about a negative 24%. Also for this month, we saw uh, new listings, uh, 12,046. On a month-to-month change, that's about 26%. Not surprising at all with the state of the market with all the changes that we've been going through. What's interesting is when we look at these two uh, numbers is that overall in all segments of the market, you're seeing uh, what becomes part of the new listings that about 25 to 30% of these new listings are relist properties. What we see now is that the uh, active listings that are currently on the market have actually reduced for this month, it's down about four and a half percent. Alarming, not really. It's typical of the time of the year that we're in. July and August typically tend to list things to slow down because more people tend to go on vacation. So this year, am I, you know, are we shocked that we're seeing less listings on the market? Not at all. What is interesting is that uh, on a month to month, prices, the average price for the GTA has continued to go down. We're now at about 6.5%, roughly, uh, down from the month of June. Now, again, you know, again, should this be a panic? Uh, not at all. Uh, you know, people are still trying to uh, grasp what's going on. They're still trying to catch their bearings. Uh, there's still a lot of uncertainty in the market. And I, I, I think a lot of buyers, sellers are trying to really... Um, find their bearings and and the settling ground because there's so much, so many changes that have happened, Uh, interest rate hikes, more inventory, giving buyers more choice. So what we've seen as as a a matter of fact of everything that's going on is that a lot of buyers are looking at lower and less expensive um, home types to mitigate some of that affordability that has been affected because of the rising interest rates. As a result of the impact that the uh, rising interest rates has had on the market and the, I guess, buyer's behavior, you're starting to see that a lot of detaches in some of the segments like Mississauga, Oakville, Milton, Burlington, um, have reduced more drastically than some of the lower, um, more affordable housing pricing. So let's say if you're looking at a, at a semi or even if you're looking at townhomes, in a lot of these areas, the reduction on a month to month of the average price has not been as great as you're looking at like detached. I, I you know when you look at the peak of the market in February 2022, till now, you see an average price drop of about 19.44% uh, overall. So it's not surprising then that some of these detaches and some of these even uh, you know semi detaches their affordability have been more affected than some of the lower spectrum like condos condo townhomes or freehold uh, uh, freehold townhouses what's interesting too is that and we mentioned this in our last month and it's holding true to this month is that anything closer to a nucleus like the city of toronto properties that are being listed and sold outside of this nucleus have been having more pressure on buyer behavior, thus resulting in pressure on the pricing and bringing those property prices down a lot more aggressively than properties closer to this downtown nucleus. Another notable stat that we should be uh, mindful of is that days on market has increased incrementally. We're looking at um, property days on market in around 30 days, which is not something that we've seen um, probably in the last couple of years. Uh, you know, to be at 30 days, uh, a pro- uh, 30 days average uh, property days on market has been unheard of. And that's, again, been fueled by the, the, the consumer who's just wanted to get into a house, wanted to make that purchase. And, and again, the, the habit of where we will list a property, have it for a few days, and then have an offer date. Clearly, that has changed in the last little bit. So if you're a buyer, uh, what we'll continue to probably see is a lot of buyers are going to be T1, 
tiptoeing around the area of buying, although a lot of people are still making purchases, there's still sales happening. It's not, it's, it's not like it's completely, people have stopped buying. It's just, you're gonna see that a lot of buyers are gonna be cautious, wary, very careful, and really just trying to, you know, get their bearings about this real estate market uh, because it's not something that they've experienced in the last little bit. It's moving at a much slower pace. It's moving at a much different pace. So I, I don't, um, I don't feel uneasy about what you know these the buyer behavior or habits are of in the last couple of months. So I can see them really treading carefully. Um, you'll probably see a lot more um, houses coming on the market, uh, especially as we approach uh, September where people will be coming off of vacation. So you'll probably see the uh, a little bit of a resurgence in this fall market. So you'll probably see something in the next couple of months, more inventory, a couple of more transactions happening. But I, I feel that from here on to the end of the year and even the start of next year, you'll see the market just still uh, tread very carefully and, and people just trying to get a sense of what's really happening. So if you're looking to sell, um, Again, obviously we would not advise you to go and make a purchase first unless it's something that you're very certain about that you're getting a good deal or if you're moving out of town, maybe you're getting just relocated. Otherwise, we would advise you, uh, like we have in the last few months, get your house ready, put it on the market, give yourself the, the sufficient time to make sure that you're getting as many people as true and, and make sure that you get, hopefully, the number that you're looking for. But again, take the time to list prepare your home, sell it first, then make your move onto making that purchase. Guys, I hope this has been insightful. Again, uh, probably not giving you as much as information but as I'd like to, but um, that usually typically happens in these summer months. But I'm sure that as we enter the fall market, we'll be providing you with a lot more month-to-month uh, -month statistics, which gives us the trend, and we'll be seeing a lot more shocking year-over-year um, numbers that just will be blowing your mind and, and probably freaking you out. And we're telling you, do not freak out. Whether you're a buyer, uh, seller, don't freak out. It's just sit down with the professionals, give us a call, reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to sit down with you and explain exactly what's happening with this market and help you make the best decision for yourself and your family.